With the commotion add-on we can make offset animations. I will start with a simple one. Uh, press A and B to add a plane in the scene. Give the material then shift D X to. Then repeat a few times. B for box select. Shift D Y to. Uh, repeat a few times. Then B for box select. Let's place it in the middle. It's maybe nice. Then make an animation, press I, lock rod scale, frame 20, grab in Z axis. Let's also press the dot for, to get that pie menu and then scale it. Then make, press I for keyframe, grab Z, scale. Then press I again. Then let's start with the cursor. So we make an offset animation. I place my um, this uh, thing. I didn't know the name. The header, the hat. I place it there and then offset animation. So if you play now the animation, we get this. We can also, instead of that, you select sort by name, you see all the planes have a different name, uh, offset animation, then we get something like this. Or use multi offset, and of course random, then the random planes. Multi offset, then first I have to press select the planes, press M, make a new collection, let's say make it planes, okay. Then I will add uh, empty to the scene, a sphere, and we are going to animate this empty. Press I. Now I have to select uh, everything and also fill this form in planes. So, and then the effectors is the. Ooh, I didn't add the empty to a collection, so new collection. And then M M T. Then and the select all, I believe. Then the radius, I think. Then could be something like uh, 1.50 or so. And then this is here. Offset animation. Then we got something like that. Next, uh, let's check the shape keys. All right, let's try an animation with shape keys. I have here a simple plane with a material already and I did an inset and that's it. So in the properties panel, you go to object data there you will see shape keys, you press two times, tap to go in edit mode, select the uh, face uh, on the Z axis, scale for example, tap to go out of edit mode, and then we have here our shape key. Now we are going to animate the shape key. So, 
then next is to multiply the planes of the copy uh, shift the x2 repeat a few times b for box shift d y2 oops <laughs> what happened ah yeah so shift d y2 repeat one more time box select and then in the commotion add-on we select here shape keys and let's do my cursor so and then offset animation and let's see what happened oh so that's pretty nice The next one is the proximity effector, which I cannot get to work, but maybe you can help us out. So all I did was making cubes, there's some keyframes, and I added the cubes to a collection and the empty to a collection. Then all you do is proximity effector for the animated. You select the cubes collections, the factors, the empty collection. Then you choose one of those options you want to animate. This is the more kind of an ops offset and this is the end result. So I want to animate in that location. Then if I play the animation, it's, it's working in the 3D, 3D viewport. But when you are going to render out, you will uh, see something like this for every keyframe. So, before you render, you need to bake it. The problem here is that if I bake it, that doesn't seem to work well. So, let me know uh, if you know how to do that. Let us know. Later, you will see on Blender add-ons that org blender dash add-ons talk you will see in the articles for more information uh, now I think this website has uh, like 80 add-ons free free add-ons except EV Express as a paid one and one more there was one more paid so let's check Oh, the Smartville, I believe, yes, that's paid add on. But uh, that is just, I believe, a few pounds. So, alright, yeah. Oh, by the way, you see here, contact us, you can send me an email. Uh, and you can also donate. I'm paying to, for the internet, uh, the, the web hosting provider. And that will cost me, I think, now just only, I believe, $8 a month. But that's for the first year. Next year, it will be a little bit more. I got, in a few months, at £12. And, and uh, I, £2 are for myself. But, um, yeah, if you want to donate, that's also good. If not, that's also fine. Um, you can also help me by um, looking at this add-on. That's an add-on I made myself. And this is very good to set up a scene very quick in EV Express. So you might take a look at that, and if you think it's useful, then um, or if you have questions let me know all right